Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago discussion video here on the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about the true villains of the entirety of the Ninjago series and why it probably is not going to be the Overlord actually. Now the Overlord is the sworn nemesis of the first Spinjitzu Master. That's no secret. The first Spinjitzu Master and the Overlord himself basically represent Ninjago's equivalent of light and darkness and those two energies will constantly feed off of each other and produce continuous other energies that share their same origins. Now, the Overlord has always been, I guess, the true darkness of the entire land, but I do believe that there is a different type of Ninjago villain that can be, I guess, claimed to be the main villain of the entire series, and those are, of course, the Serpentine. Now, the Serpentine, of course, we first saw back in 2012 of Ninjago, but believe it or not, they were going to be the first villains that we've ever seen from Ninjago. In an early Ninjago promo clip from 2009, I believe it was, right when the series was starting its conception, the Serpentine were featured as the main army alongside Lord Garmadon, so that type of plot thread has always been one of the ideas for Ninjago since the beginning, but of course instead we ended up getting the Skeleton Army in the pilot season as well, you know, alongside Garmadon, so technically the Serpentine came after them, I'm aware, but the Serpentine were always in concept going to be the first Ninjago villains that we've ever seen. And now we jump forward to where we are now in Ninjago, and the Serpentine have been the subject of several Ninjago seasons. In season one they were the main antagonist along with Great Devourer, in season Season 2, the Serpentine showed up until the Overlord did, and then the Overlord kind of took over. In Season 3, Pythor was basically running the shots behind a lot of the Nindroid operations in tandem with the Overlord himself. In Season 4, of course, Master Chen tried to go ahead and recreate an Anachondroid army using his own army. Season 5 was actually kind of tame in terms of Serpentine, but Season 6, there was a Serpentine member on the Sky Pirate side alongside Nauticon. In Day of the Departed, Pythor was back once again. In Season 7, the Vermilion Serpentine were the primary antagonist alongside the Time Twins, and then seasons 8 and 9 were kind of tame in that alongside of season 10. Those three seasons kind of were primarily Serpentine free for the most part, but then season 11 comes along, and who are the main villains again? Serpentine, with Asphira running the charge this time around. So when you think about it, these Serpentine have been the subject of many Ninjago stories and have popped up in several Ninjago seasons, and at this point it's kind of rare to find a season that does not include Serpentine, as Serpentine are going to be one of the main antagonists behind the entirety of the Ninjago story. At least that's what I'm thinking of here. I don't think that any Serpentine can even hold as much power as the Overlord could have. However, because of how many Serpentine have popped up and how many times the actual Serpentine themselves have been the main villains and how many other Serpentine members have immense power, I think it's safe to say that the overall true villains of the entirety of the Ninjago story are the Serpentine themselves. Of course, you could disagree with me on that all you would like, and I do believe that the Overlord is the true, I guess, antagonist behind a lot of stuff, and it's, you know, he's basically the physical embodiment of darkness, but the Serpentine have been around for more and have caused more trouble for our ninja over the course of the series. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout-out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging to the $10 tier. As such, you will receive a spoken shout-out and a written shout-out at the end of every video plus additional early access content on the patreon page from time to time with all that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video once again my name is tanner fishies and with that i bid you farewell